Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to our Warlords Battlecry 2 Iron Man campaign. I think the volume settings are fine. Let's look at our hero. Level 20, and I think it's just 200 XP per level. So that's that's nice. We, we've gone a while b without having to... Uh, resign a battle, so that's good. Our ratio is getting a bit better, so maybe we'll end with a better ratio than I initially thought. But let's not jinx ourselves. Instead, let's get straight into it. We don't have any events uh, distracting us. So let's go straight for the Mountains of Ragnar, facing Determined Resistance again, playing as the Minotaurs again. Oh! as the Minotaurs. I would only switch factions if I had a map where uh, the enemy had a lot of towers that are not... that you can't attack by ground units. Like sometimes the enemy will have a tower on a place that is inaccessible but which uh, is able to hit you. So if I had a situation like that, then I'd go with the Dark Dwarf. But my default will, of course, be to start as the Minotaurs, so so that we can play until we get far-seeing and then make a decision. For this one, uh... hmm. I said I wanted to save crowns. I would, like I wanted at least four hundred crowns in my inventory. That's because there's. And a random event where someone can offer to sell you an artifact, like a set item. But that's only if you have at least 400 crowns. And I do want that. Uh, so you know what, let's pay the four points. And that'll allow us to bring... Soden... Voltikar and three thralls. Sounds good to me. So let's again take a look at our starting situation. We've got our four mines right next to us. Let's start getting them right away. Let's also start building our two ziggurats. Stuff is getting cheaper and cheaper. It started out costing us 100, now it's costing us only 83, because uh, we've raised our merchant skill quite a bit. Alright, so now it's a pretty tame start, so what I'm going to do is, this time I will skip ahead to when we get far-seeing, and then we are going to see what to do about this map. Alright, so until then, take care. Taking things off pause, I killed an enemy hero earlier, I, and in fact you'll have seen me do that because I resumed from then, but I didn't do any commentary because I wasn't sure if I was going to then be skipping more or whether I was going to be doing anything, but I reasoned that because the enemy hero was there and because Your buildings are under there were 
Who's attacking what? Well, you know what? I, I don't care who's attacking what. What I do care about is the fact that we are attacking an enemy base. That enemy base is right next to ours. We need to take it down pretty quickly. It's crucial to take this enemy down because they are on the same landmass as we are. Like, they have unfettered access. Your buildings are under attack. Ooh. Oh. High elves, okay. And if somebody's giving them some kind of a buff. All right, I'll just put my hero in here. What I was going to say was we need to... What? Uh, where are my guys? Okay. For a second I thought my Archon had died, but he's up here. We need to take care of this guy because if we do, then not only have we removed a threat, then we can also convert all of the level 3 mines that will have started right next to his base. But before we can remove him as a threat, we need to destroy all of his keeps, which is where his builders are produced, and take down any thralls as we see them. And we also need to, of course, periodically check back at what's happening in our own base. I think it's time now to start putting some guys in the quarry. Because we are pretty far from a... Pretty far from far-seeing. And... Oh, yeah, we need to cut down these guys whenever we see them, because if we don't, they'll start building more bases. Now, who is doing what now? Okay, another barbarian is being being just he's just being rather rude right now trying to steal one of our gold mines so I'll have to temporarily suspend my destruction of the green base while I try and deal with this situation I'm trying to select his hero but it's very hard because, in fact, uh, ooh, there was one pixel where I was able to select their hero. You know what? I, I don't care about their hero. Once we get close, uh, I mean, I, I do care about their hero, but once we get close, their units will break ranks and then we'll be able to click on their hero a little bit easier. Let's wait for that to happen. Yes, yeah, see, now their units are moving. Now we can click on their hero. Finally, to see what he is. And he is just a barbarian. The one that we killed earlier was a shaman. This guy could be dangerous. He could land some pretty hard critical hits. I don't even think he landed a critical hit. He just did a lot of regular damage to our uh, Archon. So let's move our Archon out. Oh, we weren't quick enough. See, this is the problem with heroes like this. Oh my god, dude, attack the correct unit. And now maybe we can make something happen. Okay, wow. By the skin of our teeth. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna save scum. You better believe I'm about to save scum two fire elementals. Your troops are under attack. Okay, come on, man. Troops are under attack, but I 
Like I've got like three different things to do at once. And I need to put more guys into this quarry. And I need to save Scum a second fire elemental. So let me just see if I can do that. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. Now, before I save, make sure my retin retinue units are both alive. They are both alive. Okay, good. Now, we can move you guys to the green base once again. Where hopefully... Okay, looks like they haven't been able to... Your buildings are under attack. Okay, who is attacking? Are you actually serious right now? Every Everyone's coming to me. You know what, I'm gonna send my hero after her. Fighter is gonna be tough. To uh, fight because they've got some good damage bonuses that are definitely no joke. Let me just start on the conversion for that mine and let me move my. Oh, let me. Oh, I'm already researching, that's good. All right. All right. Aside from their hero, their other units are pretty basic. So let me see if I can quickly take her down with an assassination. Well, she's taking me down with some heavy hits. Let's try that again. Okay, she might have high resistance. Something might possibly be giving her... Okay, yeah, this is too dangerous. I'll get my hero killed if I mess around with this garbage. Okay. Let's not tempt fate. We took down two heroes. Let's just be happy with that. And I'm being dumb because if I move my guy here, Your buildings are under attack. I can get both of these at once. Uh, okay, this is highly suboptimal. But what I'll do is I'll take down Research the, complete. their other units. And. How far am I? I'm pretty close to getting another fire elemental. So maybe what? Maybe if I do something like summon a fire elemental to distract, or maybe if I get some hits on her while she's converting. How many hits did you land and you did no damage? That's... Are Bunch of garbage, actually. Your are under Is she... I mean, she's got some pretty high armor, but she, like, she shouldn't be immune to damage. Your buildings are under attack. Let me try something. What if I... Fire elemental... Alright, now... Yeah, okay, this is this is not working. This is not working. Just gonna have to run away and hope that she doesn't follow. All right. Cowardly, yes, but we were 100% going to die if we didn't run away just then. Like, mark my words, we were dead. We were totally dead. 
All right. So what else can we do? Well, let's prepare for our uh, for our eventual Minotaur shaman. Okay, but these guys are being annoying. Let's see if we can take them down without losing too much health. That was good. Okay, and that was good. And let's get these two mines. It's really the crystal mine that's more important. And I'm actually going to leave this thing intact. Just so other enemies coming here have something else to keep them occupied rather than our base. And let's get this very important upgrade. And let's get that very important upgrade. All right, things are uh, still in a precarious position. Your troops are under attack. Okay, who's who's attacking? Where's our other fire elemental? Okay, he's hidden behind the tower. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Just all right. All right, let's. Good job on our Archon taking down that unit before he interrupted our Minotaur King. It is a bit worrying that they're sending their units against me when there's at least one other active enemy on this map. Yeah, let's uh, get on this pronto. And... Build that as well. Got to do this. Elves are n no joke. Their economy is so strong, they can swarm you so quickly. It's actually a little terrifying fighting them. Just gonna have to... Just gonna have to uh, endure it though. My hope is that when we get a few Minotaur shamans going, then we'll be able to defend against their strong. Oh! 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 Are they, are they going after us or what, what's happening? Where were our retinue units? Where are they? Uh, okay, they're, they're up here. Sure. Alright, this is a very, very not good situation. We've almost got far seeing, but will that even help us? Will that even help us? I mean, right now all we need to do is survive. That's re there's really... There's really nothing else to it. So let's bring you back here. Let's bring you guys into this mine. You also need shamans on continuous production. Your troops are under attack. Yeah, we are being dogpiled here by literal dogs. They're sending their war dogs after us. 
Oh my god. This is pretty bad, actually, but... Because we've got our Minotaur Shamans, we're able to kind of deal with it. Yeah, this is... And they're sending... They sent their guys at this angle. Your troops are under attack. Okay, let's see. They sent their guys from here around our base to attack us from where our towers wouldn't be able to help. Now surely... That's either the AI being really smart in this <laughs> old game from 2002 or one hell of a fluke for them to have picked that specific angle of attack. Okay, there's some resources here. In case we want. I think we just need to... I think we just need to hold the line and wait for our units to... Oh, are you serious right now? Yeah, we need to take down this green enemy. Uh, not this green enemy, this uh, tan enemy, this orange enemy. Because that is going to be a huge, huge pain. Your buildings are under attack. Assert only you, master. Okay, we're gonna have to break through this line of defenses. This is the unit that we will unlock, the Elven Cavalry, which is a Your ranged unit, a ranged cavalry unit, making it a are under attack. pretty, pretty versatile. All right, five is good enough to at least launch an attack on them. Because we need to do something to them. We can't just let them... stay... undisturbed, ascending these attacks against us. That is not a recipe for success. And what was under attack? Was their hero back in these parts? Their hero is back in these parts. And their hero has an Archon. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do about Your this. Buildings are under attack. Is, is our Archon dead? Is our Archon dead is the question. Our Archon might be dead. Okay, this is not great. If I load the game, how far back is this? It's really far back. You know what? I'm gonna load it anyway. It's before we got far seeing. Wow. It's before we got our level 4 Ziggurat. Okay. So at this point, since this is so far back, now I'm gonna skip ahead to when we had our um, Minotaur uh, shamans being produced. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do, but for now, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna have to, <laughs> just gonna have to, uh, Oh my god, I'm so annoyed right now that I'm... My ability to speak has gone. What I was gonna say was I'm just going to... Skip ahead to roughly when I was when I... Loaded the game last time. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. All right, after much grinding, I'm once again at the point where I've got far-seeing. And this time, I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. This time, I will know that the main objective is going to be to take out this High Elf hero. The only way I know how to do that is with... Uh... 
Uh, how do I? How do I even do that? With my Archon and my Minotaur King. Well, the Minotaur King ignores armor, but there's a lot of units around. I don't think that's going to be a viable way to do it. I think it's going to be with Minotaur shamans who are able to cast a Pillar of Fire. So let's put the fire elementals on this side. But two fire, uh, two uh, Minotaur shamans are not going to be enough. And what? Oh my god. I didn't have you on continuous production. Four might be enough, actually. Let's be a little bit adventurous. Because it's imperative to take this enemy hero down. Because she's going to steal all our minds and just ruin all our plans if we don't. But fortunately, somebody interrupted her. All right. All right. I think we might be able to pull this off because her other unit Okay, this is not great. Oh, she took no damage. She took no damage. Okay, so that that didn't work clearly. Let's try this again. Let's try this a second time. This time, let's maneuver closer with all four. So let's save now. Four pillars of fire again. She did almost no damage. How much damage did we do to her? We we got pretty close to taking her down. It wasn't enough. What if we try... This is probably pointless, but I was going to say, what if we try Ring of Fire instead? And these Dragon Knights have such a high fire resistance too, which is another thing that's really... Okay, maybe we can cheese this a little bit, the fact that if we... The fact that if we disengage with her, then she stops attacking us. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Like, this is... Basically cheating. But it worked. But it worked. We took her down, we defended our strong mines which we had earlier stolen from that other enemy, and now this garbage is happening at our base. Yeah, it doesn't look like our enemies are interested in fighting each other. It looks like they just want to fight me and only me. And they're doing some pretty major damage to us. Let's try and send some guys into that. Thing. Okay, so who is more dangerous to us? I think now that their hero is dead and now that they've lost their hero bonuses, it shouldn't be that hard to withstand their attacks. Like they should be sending things to us at a lower frequency now. So let's instead try and take out the purple enemy. Because the units that they are sending are definitely a bit more... a bit more able to do damage to our base compared to the units that the high elves are sending. Although I do want to take down this Wisp and whatever this unit is. Your troops are under attack. Yeah, these guys are just with their fire resistance. 
Just so annoying. And we're gonna have to probably fight a lot of them when we uh, when we start attack. Oh god, like I keep getting distracted by stuff happening all over the map. We're fighting against two very strong enemies. I think we've now got a handle on the situation. Okay. Look at all these towers they're building. I mean, it takes a lot of resources to build a tower, so it's. Mm, I don't know if it's an effective strategy building towers next to level 1 mines, but effective or not, it's definitely annoying. And maybe. maybe that's what they're going for. Like, they know they can't necessarily. I, I do want to take this eagle out, because otherwise it'll start building stuff. I, there's an attack coming from here with all kinds of horrible units, but we've got some units at the base as well. You know what, I'm gonna stop producing thralls for now. Is that Minotaur Shaman stuck? Or did I just not set the rally point? I must have just not set the rally point. And I wish I was one of those pro real-time strategy gamers that has enough uh, mental capacity to launch two attacks on two different bases at the same time but I I'm sorry I'm no I am by no means that elite so I'm just gonna wait until this enemy is destroyed or at least until this base is destroyed. And if they start building other bases, we can wait on that. But I want to destroy their capacity to build units to attack us before I... Oh my god. Okay. Your buildings are under attack. Yeah, this is not great. I'll just move some of these guys down here. Uh, what else should I even build? You know what? More morale is always good. We've got the gold for it, so let's build that. Oh my god, I hate how he... So... I hate... How by default he has the aggressive stance, which means he'll, if like if an enemy comes into his range, he'll walk and then attack it. But then he won't go back to where he originally was. He'll just keep standing to wherever he killed that enemy, which means he keeps getting dragged further and further away from the base, whereas most other units are defensive. And. If you want him to be defensive, you have to manually change his stance, which is a real pain. I think you have to do it every single battle because the game won't remember that you had him set to be defensive. This is their siege weapon, just to be even more annoying. They're sending these long-range units against us. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. We're... we're doing okay. It doesn't feel like it, but... I think we've turned the corner. The reason it doesn't feel like it is just because how quickly our enemy is able to throw together an army. See, they've already got another one. And it's already destroyed, but that's because we had a very strong strike force to deal with it. But look how quickly they were able to throw together another entire army. It's pretty, uh, pretty alarming. 
Oh, and this Reaver could have done some pretty awful things, but we uh, took him out. Took him out in the end. All right. Towers are going down. These Eeries are going down. And I think we've... Think... Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. The hitbox for some of these buildings is... Like, it doesn't match up with the, the range trajectory of your shooter units. All right. Let's finish off this enemy. Or just do maximum damage to them before we turn around and start focusing on the other guys. Right. Things are going going well. Come on. Oh my god, it's so difficult to who's who's doing what to my base? Okay, that's that's fine. I was gonna say it's so difficult to pinpoint target enemies as they're moving by. Because you don't have uh, a lot of like, their hitboxes for clicking on are actually pretty small. Okay. God, they've got so much. They have another Thrall who's going down there. Let's destroy this. And then whoever's building it, we'll kill him. Oh, that Thrall is on his way back up. That's good. Oh, let's kill this eagle. All right. Oh my God! My, another eagle, another eerie. All right, we've got to take that down. All right. I think we're fine against that enemy for now. Let's move against these elves. In fact, we're going to be running into a pretty big attack that they're sending. But I think we can deal with it. Nobody has resigned yet, which is interesting. Your base is under siege. Oh my god. Okay, okay, they got distracted by someone else attacking them, which helped us out quite a bit. Alright, okay. Now why was our base under siege? Who was doing what to our base? I, oof, this is not good. Oh, they destroyed it. This is garbage. Uh, okay. Okay, let's let's not lose concentration. Let's instead make our way towards this base through this very dense line of enemy archers protecting them. This almost feels like I'm attacking a capital. These ranged cavalry units that are so annoying. And I'm glad that this is the only map on which we'll have to fight them. Fewer of them. Who is healing them? Oh man, like just one thing after another. Look at how many of our guys they killed. Alright, 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 alright. If we don't have to fight them, we won't. Oh, 
All right. This is not great. All right. We had some guys over here. Is there a way for them to link up with the people on the right? They'd have to go a really long route, but I'll, I'll send them anyway because it's going to take a long time otherwise. In the meantime... Are you actually serious right now? Okay, my Archon is alive or dead? He's alive. I was like, if I, if I have to load my game a second time, I'm going to not be happy. Oh my god, so many of these stupid units. All I want is a pathway inside. Jeez, okay. Finally, we've kind of broken through. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Under attack? Why? Oh, they... Uh... I didn't realize there were these land bridges. I thought they were going to go around, but no, all of them are dead except for this guy. Just go out in a blaze of glory. Pillar of fire. You didn't... that pillar of fire didn't even do anything. Your troops are under attack. Okay, we can do some serious damage to this base. So let's just run a riot. Their level 5 white tower is right there. If we destroy that, that's going to set them back quite a bit. And these trees of life, by destroying them, it'll be harder for them to build up more armies quickly. Our Minotaur Shamans are gaining a few levels here and there as well, which is nice. It'll make them a little bit harder to take down, but I don't think this one group is going to be enough. I think we're going to have to send a second group. Or are we? We've done some pretty good damage with these guys. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. Looks like things are kind of secure. I'm not sure how these guys are still sending stuff our way since they shouldn't have any mines left. But uh, somebody's giving them re resources, I guess. I don't even know. But I am going to build a third uh, henge to replace the one we lost. Let's continue tearing these guys down. Alright, let's pull back. Destroy this tower and that. What's going on here? This garbage is going on here. Hopefully this is the last attack we have to deal with from those guys. Hopefully. So many towers, man. The tower spam is... is real. It is definitely real. Alright. We're down to three. But they are also down to not many buildings, and... Oh no, I was just about to move that guy out of the way, but wasn't quick enough. Alright, that tower did a lot of damage before we took it down. And they're, they're building more stuff, but I think at this point we've basically got their number. So there's nothing they can do. So let's take out this new base that they're building. And let's continue to do damage to the old base that... We oh, 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 let's not get destroyed by towers just because pathfinding took you the wrong way. Let's 
try and be a little bit intelligent. Make good use out of our resources. There's not much we'll be able to do. Maybe we can take down this tower if it keeps targeting the wrong... Oh, no. Alright. Ugh. We need to take down their wisps. I said we need to take down their wisps because otherwise they will just keep building more bases over and over again. Oh my god! Ooh, how did you guys pull that off? I don't even know. But somehow you're still alive and another tower is destroyed. And did you guys... How fast are these wisps? Took you a while to take that one down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. All right, now let's see if we can take this tower down. We were able to. What else do we need to do? I think we're almost done with that enemy. Okay. Let's gather you guys up together. That's now take down the green enemy because his usefulness to us is over now that we no longer have other active enemies to fight and this guy actually helped us out a lot with that attack of his not just because he killed a bunch of enemies that were coming towards our base but because he wasted his mana doing so means he can't do it again. Alright. Let's take these guys down. And... Let's destroy the green enemy once and for all. Okay. There we go, the, f the first resignation of the game, finally. I think this might be the last thing for this enemy too. Oh no, they've, they've built towers here, so we'll probably have to destroy those. And they've got whatever this is. And that's a that's a merchant. It doesn't build anything. Your troops are under attack. And what is attacking our troops? Oh, this tower. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there's no good way to fight these guys. These really annoying elven hunters, except to just plow through them. I guess one thing that would help us a little bit is if we got better armor for our guys. And I should have, in fact, built an ironworks ages ago. Let's build more shamans. Because we're probably going to need to send a few waves of them. Continue, continue getting that, and let's get... Let's not even focus on the melee damage upgrade, because it would only help Minotaur Kings. We're not really using them that much. We only, in fact, have one of them who's at our base, so let's just uh, focus on things that would help our shamans. Your buildings are under attack. Who's Your doing what? Under attack. Jeez, man. Uh, don't, don't get split up. Don't get split up. Enemy 
destroyed. Good job, whoever killed that hero. Well, I guess it was a team effort. They all did it together. Alright. Take down that moon guard before he does anything funny. Take down these guys. And I think we are doing okay. There's obviously another group of them here, which we'll get to in the end. But let's finish off these guys first. And would you look at this? What would make you think it's okay to build a base so close to mine? Alright, alright, we're doing fine. Okay, we just need to continue doing the good work. Your troops are under attack. What's this? Oh, it's a purple tower. Just to remind us that those guys are still not eliminated yet. Okay, we're just gonna pillar of fire these guys. Tower taken down as well. And I guess we'll take down this tower. What is left for the yellow enemy? I don't even know. Oh okay, yeah, let's finally link these two guys up. Actually, no, let's, let's keep them on this side, just in case there's more... Are under attack. To, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is what's left. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. And maybe after that tower is destroyed, the purple enemy will also be vanquished, or maybe they've got some other tower... Somewhere on the map. Yeah, I sent my Minotaur King up there to get those mines, but I don't really need them anymore. Alright, oh, there's stuff on the center of the map. And there was stuff here as well, but... What? Where is the last thing or the last things? Oh, was it not the yellow enemy that resigned? I guess it wasn't. I guess maybe it was the purple enemy who resigned. Oh, 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 oh. They've got an Archon. Jeez, come on. I, I t target the correct. Oh, I'm targeting him. But instead of attacking, they're moving. Oh, the, we lost so many because of that really annoying uh, targeting glitch. Okay. 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 What? What remains? Don't really see much. Your troops are under attack. Don't really see much. I guess now I'll send my hero. Send my hero to the center. To see what those items are. And why have we not won yet? What remains on this map? So one way, if you're not sure where the last enemy is, you can set a bunch of units on this setting, Rampant, where they will roam the map randomly. 
looking for stuff to attack. Now, they won't go directly to uh, enemies, because that would just be too easy. They'll just walk around randomly in like a... Like a... You know... I think the term is... Uh, like there's a term for how particles move, like they'll randomly Your change directions and just... Attack. Oh, there's... Oh, I guess there was something there and that was the last enemy left. Well, we finally won. Oh, man. You are victorious. We are victorious, although that was a rough slog. 110 experience is a good amount. We still have all our uh, retinue units. I was a little bit nervous, you know, loading that game. We were able to keep all our units. And now, we've taken the Mountains of Ragnar. And now we, if we want, can start taking those annoying uh, elven hunters into battle with us. Although they're not as useful to us. They're really annoying to fight, but they're not really effective in attacking bases because they have regular ranged attacks. So, sadly, not going to be making much use of them, but we are making good progress in securing this part of the map. And with each passing episode, our kingdom, our empire, grows stronger and stronger. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. And uh, until then, take care.